Hi guys, I've just got back from my one hour of exercise a day. My favourite thing in the world is receiving new watches in the post. It's, it, it's like Christmas. But I'm going to open these for you today. Uh, I'm Jason and I'm your watch guy. Hopefully I'm right on what I'm saying here because if, if I'm not, this is completely the wrong package. But in here should be two watches. I've ordered them both from China. They are both Pagani design watches. I should have the PD1651 or the Pagani Explorer and I should have the PD1649. Uh, I don't think they give them that name but it is a Ortavia homage. So let's get into opening them. So, let's rip off this outer packaging. We have one and two. So let's see which one is which. Nice little polishing cloth there. Little International guarantee card and instruction manual. Ah, uh, guarantee card. Not filled in, but um, you know, it's nice that's there, I guess. Let's take this out of the box. Little Pagani design tag there too. Don't know why they haven't attached it to the watch. This is the Pagani Design Explorer. Now to me, this is a homage of a Rolex Yachtmaster. I'm just gonna quickly put all this away and then go through the watch. So I am going to review these watches in a later video, or a set of later videos. So I'm only quickly going to peel off the stickers and get this all unboxed and everything before doing so. All wrapped up, as you can see. I'm actually quite surprised at the quality. I didn't pay much for this. I think it came in around £60-ish. Peel that back. I really like the quality of that clasp. Oh, and we've got a open back case there. That's a nice surprise too. Didn't expect that. I thought these were uh, standard closed backs. I like being able to see my movements. As you probably expect, this is an H35 Seiko movement, which is pretty standard across the board. I quite like these movements, they're reliable. A lot of stickers around it. I'm actually quite impressed by this watch. Just at first glances. I'll, I'll be completely honest. I expected it to be really cheap and tatty. With it being just a little homage, a very cheap one too. Clasp is a bit uh, a bit tough, I guess. It's my only complaint up to now, which is mad. I've never actually had a clasp that's like this. Quite different to anything that I've had. Let's peel these stickers off, see if that helps. There we go, going and get that open. That's one of the niggliest bracelets I've ever experienced. It is quite well manufactured though, I'll give them that. Just get you a shot of that face, it's the uh, blue gradient one. They do do a black black. I think that's quite nice. That'll be a nice addition to my collection. So I'm going to move on to the Octavia now. Pop this one open. Again we have the polishing cloth. Eh, uh, That's... That's the wrong watch. You've sent me the wrong watch. Oh, for God's sake. I, I should have probably checked. So guys, not, not really what I was expecting. I mean, at least you got one of them right. I'm also not sure if I've unboxed the wrong one. Because I've got a suspicion that I might have ordered the black black one. I'll let you know how this turns out anyway. I'll, I'll do another uh, unboxing maybe. Thanks for watching guys. I'll see you in the next one. So guys, as you've just seen, I bought this Pagani design watch. They should have also sent me a Tag Otavia homage. But instead, I got another Pagani design Explorer. Which uh, dis was disappointing. Completely disappointing. Now I went on to AliExpress and I spoke to the Pagani design store. I said, look, this is what's happened. You've sent me the wrong watch. First they insisted that I needed to send the watch back. I said, no, you can send me a label and I will happily get it packaged up together for you and send it back. I am not paying for it. It was my own money to send it back to you. Do you want mistake? I want a replacement for this watch. I said, okay, uh, we'll arrange the replacement to be sent out. I unboxed these on the 7th of April. It is now the 6th of May. Uh, it took them a week, I think, to actually get it sent back out. And it's taken about three weeks to get here. Obviously, there's the whole coronavirus lockdown happening right now, and that affects the post, and I understand that. So, in hindsight, I guess, they've done an all right job getting rid of this quickly. So this is the replacement. I'm going to continue this unboxing, and I'll show you this thing, and see if they've got it right this time. Watch until the end and I'll give you a review on the whole Pagani design experience for me and how I think it kind of reflects the company and their customer service. Let's get back into these unboxings. 
So guys, this should be the PD1649 model from Pagani Design. It is what I would call a homage to the Ortavia Puya watches. I haven't opened this yet, so let's see what we've got. Thank God for that. They've sent the right one this time. Right, let's get this out of the box. There's some real weight in that. Uh, as in the last ones, you do get a little cleaning cloth. You get your instruction manual and guarantee cards. Not filled out, so I don't, don't really... It is what it is. I'll get this unwrapped. It is actually really nice. First impressions. It's got a good weight to it. It's thick as hell. It's, like re it's a real chunky watch. It's got a nice open case back. I actually really like this. It's a really good looking watch. Now I went for the blue face in this one. Kind of wish I went for the green one now, in hindsight. But at 50 pounds, if I want it that bad, I can go and get another one, I guess. It's not gonna destroy the bank balance, this. So that's all peeled off now. Just close that clasp up. Oh, you're joking. Tell me that's... Okay, okay, that's fine. Uh, okay, so first thing that I've noticed is this clasp doesn't seem to... It's a bit it's a bit stiff. I mean, it does close. Uh, strangely enough, this is dual directional. Uh, bezel does feel a little bit flimsy. I don't know how I feel about that. I don't, I don't like it when they move both directions. It reminds me of one of those really, really old Timex watches. Uh, is this screw down? It's a screw down crown. It's a bonus. This is a NH35 movement, just like the Explorer. Everything works as it should, by the looks of it. These look like pin bracelets instead of the uh, screw bracelet that you get in the Explorer. To be fair, the, the bracelet feels quite similar. Uh, we've got a nice open back there, a logo on the buckle, which is nice to see at this price. We also have a logo on the crown that you can see there. Lovely domed crystal there. You know, I actually really like this. I think that's a really pretty watch. And for £50 with an NH35 movement, I think that's decent. Bezel's a bit bouncy, a bit flimsy. Clasp isn't the greatest. It is milled. It does click in, but it does need some pressure. Bracelet is what you'd expect at this type of price range. But out of the box, first impressions, I think that's a winner. So guys, I've got my Pagani Design watches now. It may have taken about two months, but at least they're here. Now, as per my opinion on their customer service, it wasn't the greatest. Uh, communication was quite hard because obviously I live in the UK and I'm awake at one time. The person who obviously runs their customer service is awake at a different time, which is fair enough. Broken English wasn't the greatest either. It was hard to explain what was happening and I struggled at times. But beyond that, I mean, they've sent me the new product. I haven't yet had to return this product. I mean, Pagani, if you want this back, send me a label, I'll send you it. I mean, that's fine. I'm happy to do that. Otherwise, I'm, I'm probably going to size this one up, wear it, and sell this one. Completely up to you guys. I'll give you time to, to get back to me. So guys, I'll get these on wrist and I will get you a review as soon as I possibly can. Thank you very much for watching this unboxing video. I'm glad we got here in the end. I'm glad we got both watches here in the end. I'll see you in the next one.